Sup guys, I'm finally back with the showdown live. I'm gonna be using a team from my dude Colin, made by my dude Colin, aka Avon. <laughs> so yeah, this is a uh, Specs Tabulele, which is this is the suspect test ladder. So yeah, Specs Lele is pretty good with Metagross being gone. This guy has a Magnezone, so he knows Lele is good. He wants that probably Assault Vest Magnezone to have a check for that. So yeah. I'll talk about the team a bit more later. Forgot to close something in the back. Let me pause real quick. Okay, so I can only leave with Scarf Kaleo. And I'm just gonna do that. So this is his rocker, obviously, unless he's rock small wise. So he's gonna go a little probably gonna go Lottie here. Which makes me wanna go which makes me want to go scissor on U-turn. Oh, what else is my... What, what, other, what other play do I have here? I mean, I can obviously just fish for a skull burn. Let's just fish for a skull burn, because it's skulled, like, I'm mindless like that. And now I can want to double skull bring him to double. Because I have a scissor and I have a Magina, so he's going to double here. So I'm going to double skull as he stays in. And I regret my play, but we lived it. <laughs> I thought, like, I'm not low on the ladder, like, I'm 10 and 0, I'm kind of low on the ladder, but I thought this guy would play aggressive. Let me check his rank. Because I'm trying too hard this early, I should just... Like, I know how this game works, usually these people always double on me when I stay in. But, yeah, okay, this guy doesn't have the best rank, he's... <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna play a bit different then. So I'm just gonna go Magina here. Um, still don't wanna go Scissor because he could have HP Fire, even though he shouldn't have HP Fire. So his options here are going Magnezone or going Landorus, which makes me wanna double into something that covers both. Yeah, I kinda wanna double back into Kelly here. Yeah, yeah, let's go back to Kelly here, breathing that. <clears throat> so now he's either gonna go Laddy or he's gonna Volt Switch in case he wants to stay in for some reason. I only have a play that covers both options. I can just go for Secret Sword. Does, he, does that even Oko? Let me call real quick. Okay, so Secret Sword doesn't even Oko, which makes me wanna go into Zygarde here, breaking the T Bolt. But he might have also gone Lottie because I'm faster, we don't know yet. Yeah, he went to Lottie. I should have just um, made the play that covers the Lottie. But I can count how much Bend E Speed does from Zyga to Latios. I mean, I have switch ins to Latios, this is not the end of the world. I hate how the calculator still doesn't have Bandit Zygarde. Let me just put in the Zyga 10% from because they have a Bandit set for that. Um, e speed does 43 to 51, so it doesn't kill, which is disappointing. I just make the Magina play here. As he got me good there. But he's gonna go for Roxy, pretty obvious, so I'm gonna prick that and go for Flurkin. Exactly, I know these players work. We hit, we crit. Okay, that was lucky. I don't think that would have occurred. I think that would have done 90. So that the crit was kind of huge. Because <laughs> the next turn he probably would have gone for U10 and I would have switched out and he would have got momentum. Now I get a slow vote switch. And see that's 29% um, to assault with Magina. So uh, let me calc that real quick. Magnazone. I'm gonna make this a shorter live. I'm just going back into the groove of recording. I haven't recorded in like 2 or 3 days. I think 3 days. Yeah. yeah. Voltswitch does 30 to... Um, how you T-Bolt it when... If he specs it does um, 39 to 46. So he's not specs. He's a salt vest. More than likely. But yeah, I can go to um, Zygarde here. Choice Bandit Zygarde, fire off a thousand arrows and basically get my kill. It's 
Kel you can live ahead obviously, but he doesn't have good switching, so yeah, I'll just click that button. And I really had to think about this for so long. Nice and 7 a.m. in the morning, starting it off early with a recording. I could do some stuff. I gotta do some stuff later today. But yeah, he sacked off his Laddie. Which Laddie wasn't doing much, but having that out the way is nice. I gotta get a defog off, but the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> this has HP fire too, so I'm not getting a defog up on this. I'm expecting this to be either Shed Shell or Specs or Scarf. I assume to Kelly has the Scarf and this is um not the Scarf obviously. Cause like unless he's throwing double scarf, which would be weird. Like he needs something to break stall. I guess he has a Mawile. But Mawile alone doesn't beat stall. This is pretty good with Shed Shell for stall. Look, Mamagina would probably get two EK out from HP Fire. Up a lele. Let's see his choice backs, then I get two kid obviously. But like my Magina isn't doing much at this point, so I think I'm gonna go Magina here. Zygat still gets a kill when it comes in on zone. As he goes for Saijo, yeah, that's backs, that's 34. Pretty sure that's backs. This kind of makes me want to go scissor on defog and keep this as fodder. But I have want to. I want to <laughs> confirm that he's steady specs. I don't want to just trust my head calc. But yes, yes, he specs the 39 to 46, so he doesn't have to be specs. Okay, let's see. Let's see if he's timid. I can't notice. If he's timid, it does a 35 to 42. So it still has more, so he's not specs, so that's good that I calc that. So yeah, I'll just uh, sack this here, go for slow volt switch in case I... In case he switches out randomly. So, I assume he's... Um, modest chat shell. Or modest scarf, which is not a set, but you never know with these latter guys. This makes me wanna go... Hmm, Lanners is slower, but he has to be modest to do that amount of damage, right? Oh, he could also be... Hmm, he doesn't have to be modest. He can be Twisted Spoon. Twisted Spoon. Psyshock does 28 to uh, 33 to Magina. How much did he do? He did 34. So, oh, I was watching it skated there. I don't know why I clicked on it. Yeah, he has to be modest to do that amount of damage, so I think I can go to my Tim... Is my Landorus timid? My Landorus should be faster than a modest lady, is what I'm trying to say, basically. I can also go into my own Lele, but... He has a Magnus zone, so... I probably have to predict. So I feel like going Landorus is the play. If he outspeeds me, this was completely wrong, but... I should be able to do a lot of damage to his team. Of course, is a roll to kill this, so I'm not willing to take that risk. I'm just gonna click the Supersonic's Geist Drag here. If he's for some reason timid, then I'm miscalked. Rip. <laughs> but he should be. He should be modest from what I've caught. Exactly, and we blow him away with the Supersonic's Geist Drag. Bop. So getting Lily out of the way is really nice. He gets to bring in his Kelly here. Mm -mm. I don't need nice need Landorus to win this game, but it's obviously nice to have to get off an intimate on a mobile after the mobile has mega evolved. Because um, a lot of mobiles want hyper cutter to avoid intimate from Lando. Like my scissor doesn't do much this game. Like my scissor can take a hit from Mora, but. Other than that, what is my scissor doing? Like, it gets off a defog, but do I really have to get off a defog? I feel like I'm just gonna... sack something here. Which probably has to be either Lander or Scissor. Since this Magnuson is not Scarf, this Lander still has more value than the Scissor. I don't think I need rocks off, so I'm gonna sack my Scissor here. I don't know why I'm letting the timer go solo. I dodge a Hydro Bomb, I'm sorry. 
I'm just thinking this like I'm obviously gonna take advantage and get off my default now though this sucks for my opponent <laughs> but I don't think like I think he would have to have killed me I don't think yeah like I'm going off and being scarf killed I can try to U-turn out but he's faster but we lift that so we still have another fodder so that obviously sucked for him and yeah, I can go into Zayat and repeat the process and click Thousand Arrows that I did, the process that I did earlier, but like, if he killed my scissor, I just had one fall or less, I don't think it mattered. Like, rocks being off is nice for me, but I don't necessarily need rocks off to win this. As he goes more while, um... Yeah, I don't need this, I don't need this, I can just click this, like, he, he might live one if he's max HP, but yeah, he doesn't live one. Like, I didn't need my Zyga to win, I had... Like, I have a Lily at full, Lily takes any hit at full from Kaleo. I think it takes any hit at full, as he's just going for the burn, doesn't get it, and... We take this game as he <laughs> doesn't get the burn again. Okay, that's nice that I didn't lose that, because I'm trying to get Rex on this ult. I'm currently, um... 11-0 with, uh... 1068 call. Yeah, I'm not just gonna get one more. Make this a shorter with hopefully we're not gonna get. I mean, stall this team is okay. Match was stall, but I hope we don't get stall. Okay, so this guy has a cure, which is scary. He has an interesting team. He has not the standard uh, sets and uh, mods that you see every game in OU. He has a um, Clefable. Okay, Clefable, you see kind of with uh, rocks and knockoff. I built a team around that earlier. For stall, but yeah, he has Boswell, which is not really common. I assume he's gonna be Mega Zen. The Lady could be the Scarf, uh, the Cure, and the Z move. And the I don't know, Boswell either like Bandit or like Sub -po Sub Focus Punch or Sub Bulk Up, something like that. So I assume he's gonna lead with something that doesn't let me get a kill with Band Zargad, which would be like Zargad doesn't do that much going off him being HP. Yes, I'm going off the thing that he's. I don't know the English word for it, but I assume he's HPI's Zapdos is what I'm trying to say. So Zygat only does work with his Alakazam probably. I don't think it does much other than that, but I feel like um, Tapu later has a good match lead matchup here. As I can go for Psychic. I assume this is uh, bulky Zapdos. I don't think he will be max speed. And we, oh my lord, don't parry me, don't parry me, come on, that would have been fucking, that would have been so amazing, don't parry me, don't parry me dude, okay, phew, like my Lele would have been at 63%, my Lele could have still put in a lot of work, um, coming in on Buzzwell later on, going off him not being Scarf Buzzwell, but now my Lele is basically useless, I wanna know if that's a role, like, God, my T is not really working on my keyboard, so I have to press it like multiple times. Uh, choice Specs, Lily vs Zapdos. Let's say all your defensive, max HP. Yeah, Psychic the psychic kills, oh that's modest, okay, yeah, I'm timid Lily. But if I'm modest, I don't know if I would have spared him. Yeah, okay, that's the roll. So that was a 68% chance, 68.8% .8 chance to Oko. Yeah, I'm gonna save this as Farda for sure, I'm going to Magina here. As he doesn't mega evolve, this gives me a Volt Switch because he doesn't have an immunity. I can also click Flurken. Do I have a reason not to click Flurken is the question. Yeah, I think I can go... Like... Yeah, yeah, I don't see what I lose from clicking Flurken, so let's just do that. He has, he has HP Fire, um... And he lives, he lives the Florican. So, going Kelly here is a bit risky because he could predict that on the HP fire. Also, could also go Zygarde and E speed next turn, but I don't think it's worth it. Magina does the range of health, doesn't live off power from Curum, I don't think so. So, I'll just go for Flashkin. In case he, okay, goes Clefable. This will still do good damage because, like, I'm at minus two, but I'm basically at neutral. So what I'm gonna do is here, I can either go for crit fish, or yeah, I'm just crit fishing here, or death drop fishing. 
I guess you could switch out. Um, this I fear this being fire move. Yeah, okay. I should have fl flash can again. I predicted him to softball there. Okay, that dodge is a bit lucky, but I think it doesn't really matter. Magina is in range from Q and softball anyway. Mm -mm. I mean, he he paired up my Lily turn one, so I don't think he has a reason to complain. I mean, he didn't complain, just in general. So what I'm gonna do here is the Kyurem looks to be like a threat, and I cannot really keep the Kyurem out. So I think I'm just gonna set my Lele here and get the switch advantage that way, because my Lele ain't doing anything this game. I'm basically just gonna throw it in there, because if I go to anything else, I take unnecessary stealth rock damage and like... So I can just sack off my Lele here and then act accordingly to what he does. Brings in his Magazine. Okay, so giving his Magazine to Saki Terrain might not have been the smartest to do, but I have a I have a Keldia to revenge him. So You know he has HP fire, so we cannot go scissor on this. I'm obviously just gonna sack, like I said. I'm just thinking about what I wanna do next. I can't even click E speed now, that's the thing. So I have to go either Megina and Volt Switch. Or I have to go Kelio. I think Megina and Volt Switch is the play. Or Megina and Flashkin. Megina and Flashkin seems fine. I think the HP fire the how much did it do? Used hidden power. I did 31, so yeah, that's a pretty fine play. Go Megina and Flash. I don't want to risk a Flurkin missing. I also don't want to Volt Switch because. He has ones that resist that. I got a soul heart boost, which kind of makes him forced to attack me now with a move that hits me basically. So like, he cannot afford to go for ice me. I don't think he's, I think he has to go for earth power fusion bolt. But it doesn't it doesn't really make a difference. I kind of have to set this because it's not doing much at this point. It's not worth going hard to on a potential HP fire. He already showed uh, HP fire on them, so I don't think this and fire blast on. He showed fire blast on Clef, HP fire on them, so this guy doesn't want to lose to Scissor. I don't think he will HP fire will have HP fire on this too, but yeah, I'll just go for Flashkin in case I live a hit, which I don't obviously. He's life orb, so off power ice beam fusion bolt and then rooster HP fire or dragon claw or outrage something like that. So. I don't think Scuff killed you, kills him from 91%. Like, I'd rather take more time and like play super slow instead of misplaying, because like I'm not trying to lose on this alt. I'm really trying to get Rex here without using stall, because sometimes I resort to stall tactics to get Rex, and stall is not really good in my opinion at the moment. Um, Q and Black. Let's just put this set. I don't know if Marty's minus defense, but I say yeah, Secret Sword doesn't kill. Zyga so doesn't outspeed if he's timid. Um, so I just have to go Scissor and have to hope that he's not HP fire. If he's HP fire, I think I just lose this one. I kind of want to bullet punch in case he's H. Oh, I cannot bullet punch. Yeah, so I'll just defog here and hope he's not HP fire. As he stayed in, so okay, he's just off power. Hopefully no spadef drop, amazing. And now I can go for roost. I can also go for bullet punch. Um Yeah, but I'll go for roost. So he goes in the buzz hole. Mm. That my Landris doesn't do much, so I'll go Landris here. He could go hard ice punch, but if he goes for stop I can at least Okay, that's really annoying because I have to waste my Zenith to break a sub. Getting up rocks for the Curum would be nice, but I have to break the sub. I think that's the. I think my priority has to be breaking this thing's substitute. Oh, yeah, I'm Jolly Landris. I don't know why I said earlier I was adamant. Yeah, I think I have to go for Sky Strike, which is bad because then I'll lose my Zenith. As he's bulk up, so this is really bad. Um, thankfully, I made this SD. 
shoutouts to Avon for suggesting that change. But yeah, he can basically bulk up, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to break a sub with one SD up, so I have to SD again. This is bad. Now let me calc real quick if, if I break a sub. So according to the calc, Elfquick should be able to break a sub. Which it doesn't do, so he's a different spread, so I think I just lose to this. And actually, I just have to I just have to have him not have a sub up when I die. Okay, he just has low 3. Hmm. I think I have to SD again to prevent him from getting up a sub. So now I should be able to break a sub. Oh, I don't break his sub even though, what the fuck, you will outspeed me now and probably be able to kill me. Dang. I mean, he's... I think I lose to this. Actually, I think... No, no, I always get one earthquake off, so I will be able to break his sub with um, bullet punch now. Actually, that doesn't help me. So let me think this through, I think I lose. Um... The Aldrich spam with my Zygarde. But then you can also hope that I hit myself in confusion. And he's also at plus 500 bajillion defense. So yeah, I think I lose to this. I played this awful. How could I play this, have played this different? Uh, having my Tattoo Lily paralyzed basically sucked a lot. Because that would have been one of the best checks to this. So now, yeah, now he just subs down again and I can't break it, yeah. Yeah, I had to go Keldeo to break his sub, but then he would have killed my Keldeo. But yeah, that would have been fine. I had to go to Keldeo there, I misplayed. I misplayed a lot not going Keldeo. Too bad I'm locked in otherwise. Mm. Wait, he's he's misplaying, what is he doing? Well, never mind, I did nothing. Yeah, he'll just get up a sub now. Let's we can still win this, I fucked up. I basically should have gone Keldeo first. Wait, he will get health back now. Yeah, never mind, I can't win. How much does Skull even do to this? Yeah, Skull doesn't kill if he heals health back, so yeah, I just mean I just lose now, fuck. Well... Yeah, I guess it didn't even matter, even. But that was disappointing, my man even will... <laughs> will know what I did wrong here, he will... Could he will be able to tell. Not much I can do. I got completely obliterated, good god. Like, I should've just gone to kill him, bro. But then he just leech lives all his health back, like... I should've just gone kill you at the beginning, I shouldn't have let him set up. I didn't think he would be that sad, but I, I played this completely wrong. Like, when he was at neutral, I should've gone to kill you, I shouldn't have... I should have never let him get all that. So many boosts up. Okay, this feels so bad. I don't want to upload this. <clears throat> well, this game, I think Magina has an okay lead. Yeah, he has his own Magina, so I'll vote here predicting that. Okay. That sucks. I don't know why he did that. It doesn't really make any sense to make that play, but whatever. Like, I just break your thing with a flash can, which is which is what I should have done, but like... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave so on the thing is if my Magina takes any damage... I'm gonna be in range to die from Midi Gems High Jump Kick with... Which I wanted to prevent, but, you know. People make their weird plays. Now Magina is at half. This should break, yup. And... Okay, I didn't think this through. I don't know why I even did that play. Yeah, okay, I'm out. Yeah, I'm misplaying now. Yeah, I'm not uploading this. God, I played okay at first, but now I'm just playing awful. Like, I should've won that last game, I don't know what I did there, if I just went hard to Kaleo, like, I didn't need Kaleo for anything, right? 
Like, I had a Larian Curum. I mean, yeah, I need Kelly for the Curum, but I had, no, I had a Sizzle. I had a Sizzle for the Curum. I didn't need my Kelly. Like, that was just awful playing on my part. Like, I don't know what, I, what drug I was on in that game. Wait, I still... Not wait, I mean, well, I still have to learn, like... From time to time, like, sometimes I make god plays and sometimes I just play awful, like, I'm not consistent, that's my problem. And yeah, he's shifty, I don't think, is he HP fire on his team? We will find out, he better not be HP fire, I could see it being HP fire, Z move, Gigavolt, Havoc, and I should be able to roost. Actually, I have no reason not to click BP again. It's just too risky. Maybe he has something like Focus Blast that would kill me potentially. So yeah, Medicham is inside. So that was nice to have for the Nihiligo, for the... What's the... What you call it? For the Mimikyu. What is Landris doing in this game? Not too much, honestly. It's either Sek Megina or Sek Landris here. Tapu Lily actually can put in word now that he sacked his Magina. I think it's Sack Magina here. So he goes for Fire Bunch. Who carries Fire Bunch on his medicine? Yeah, good god, the little ladder is wild. Well, I got my Tapu Lily here. And I clicked that Psy Shock. Because Nilly has a good Spadaf. Tapu Lily itself, if he copies it, has way better Spadaf than Fist Death, so Psy Shock is the play. I'm um, letting this take damage, is probably not the play because he has a Medicham and I want to keep this healthy. But I'm going off on being adamant Medicham just the way this. So he would go for Moonblast here probably. But I don't have a good Moonblast resist unless I want to stack Melanda, so I guess I'll just let Lele take the damage. Yeah, at that point I, I can still have a high jump kick from that range. But I'm not planning on switching into Medicham anyway. I'll probably um, use Melandris to get this. To beat this one on one. Um, it's kind of. If he Z move, he might just blow me away. It's kind of tough. Goes for Shadow Claw, doesn't crit me, thankfully. Here, Live Orb, um, Earthquake should be fine here. I don't really need rocks, I think. No, I don't need rocks. It's yeah, just Earthquake to break the disguise. If he wants to go superior hard, that's. He can do that, like. I should have gone for Z Sky Strike there to break that, but, like. No, wait, I don't think he can kill me. I don't think he can actually kill me, so. Yeah, we love at 4. We kill his superior with Supersonic Sky Strike, and. Damn, I'm still disappointed about the last game. Yeah, shoutouts to you if you get my nickname, by the way, it's a bit rude. It's it's German, it basically means the scheme. It's not... It's something that's not so nice that I'm saying about this game, because I got hexed. <laughs> my man Padlock will understand. <laughs> yeah, I just sack this. This doesn't do anything. Like it dies to Shadow Sneak, or like Mimikyu beats me potentially, does it? No, it does not speed me, I think. But it, it dies to Shadow Sneak. Nearly go outspeeds me, manage him outspeeds me, and. Should go later here and. Click Psy Shock. If he's Jolly, I have a problem, but I think he's adamant. Because he's running Psycho Cup, which means. Oh, he's Jolly X. So, uh, basically, what I should have done is. um. Just go kill you first. Kelly doesn't owe code, I'm pretty sure. And then Kelly would have brought it in bullet punch range, but now I can't even bullet punch just because I set up the because I set up the terrain. So I'm basically just misplaying all over the place. Yeah, I can't kill this. I'll just go for the burn. As he decides to go mimic you and I get the burn there. So that was a weird play. This basically lets me heal up my scissor. Mm. Ah, I guess I could have stayed in there. Like, but healing up my scissor lets me take a HJK from Medicham because he's jolly. 
Um, I think I take one. Since he's jolly, I should take one. Oh, here's Fire Punch. I completely forgot. Yeah, I should have gone Zygarde there. Should have gone Zygarde. So my play basically is... God. I'm not playing well, guys. Yeah, my play is basically going E speed, getting out damage, uh, going for E speed. I mean, he can predict this and switch out, but yeah, I need the damage on this. And now I can win with my kill, Leo. Um, yeah, I think I have to click Skull, because. I might have to click Hydro Pump. But Hydro Pump doesn't Oko on the Leo, and I'm not trying to miss. I'm not trying to miss the Hydro Pump, and I, have, I would have to hit multiple Hydro Pumps if I went for that. Thankfully I burned him, he gets a crit there, but I burned him so I can't say anything. So I should still be out of range, actually T-Bolt might kill me. No, I don't think T-Bolt kills me, I think Thunder might kill, like Z Thunder would kill me for sure, but... Yeah, this is me shaking off some rust, I haven't played months in a while. I have played months yesterday, but I just got hexed. Basically, I'm um, shaking off the rust of not recording in a while, that's what I meant to say. It's just a bit odd, like, and I'm getting one more because I'm really not. I don't like how I played that and the let's. I played the second and the third game, so I want to make up for that. And I might go on super tilt. I'm willing to risk going on super tilt. But yeah, I'll check this guy's rank to have an idea as to how he plays. He has a like heat team, but like that doesn't mean that he's bad. He might just be a good player that is testing out some new sets. Or some underrated mons like Donphan, or like not that mons that are not that good in OU, but yeah, his rank is not that good. He has Jirachi, so he's known. He has the knowledge, he knows Lele is a threat. Mm -mm -mm. This is kinda tough, but I wanna lead off with Landrus. Yeah, Landrus seems fine. And I'm gonna scout for HPIs here, which means I'm gonna go to my Magia. We get that play correct, and now I can go for Flashcan. I mean, he has an Arcanine, but I don't want him going Dawn Fan, so Flashcan is a mid ground play. So he makes the Arcanine play, so I should have Volt Switch, but I thought he might go Dawn Fan pretty in the Volt Switch. This could potentially be will o -Wisp, um, which is really bad, he couldn't will o -Wisp here predicting my, predicting my landers, so I think I will go for a slow volt switch, predicting a will o -Wisp, we get the prediction correct. If he went for Flabbits, that would have looked like a fool, but I just knew he would predict my and go for a Wisp. This basically gives me, this gives me my Zygarde. He doesn't have good switches to Zygarde, yeah, yeah, this gives me my Zygarde for sure. If he's max speed, props to him. I don't think he would be max speed on this Arcanine, which runs leftovers and seems to be bulky with a little wisp. But yeah, his switching is basically um, Donphan. I don't know if the Donphan might avoid the tweet KO, but he probably has to sack this. Like, Venusaur hasn't mega evolved yet, it will get blown away by this. Adamant Choice Band Zygarde out, not out which Southern Arrows. <laughs> But yeah, this guy just decides to dip, so that doesn't really count. I'll go ahead and get another one. I think, I don't, I don't think he's coming back from the way he just dipped. That wasn't like, like you know, when you play months, you know. So we got a really scary team. I might really <laughs> regret that I got another one. When you play months for in a while, you know how it is when a guy disconnects by having bad internet, or when he just says, "No, I'm, I'm out this game. I'm not, I don't want to play with this guy. I'm getting destroyed." So this guy seems to be, um, his team seems a bit more solid, like a bit more try -hard He's 8 and 0, so yeah, that basically confirms that. But yeah, Kelly is always an option. To just spam Skull turn 1 with Scarf Kelly is always a play. There's this Z type of builds as it tweet kills the chomp or as it Z moves, so that burn was pretty lucky on my part. Because otherwise I would have died. Okay, the other guy decided to come back. I'm um, sorry, but like, I thought you would go for Rocksdale, like, I guess he got me. He goes to his own kill here. 
So the guy came back at like 10 seconds. Donovan basically lives that. Did I say basically? I mean, I mean, Donovan um, avoids the tweet kill. Just barely, barely avoids the tweet kill. So I'll just uh, throw my. My defog scissor on a potential rocks Donovan to get him a mega evolution. It's okay, we don't burn him this time, we just deserve for him. I'll go Magina here. But who actually letting this take damage makes uh, Hooper a big threat. So he has Heatran or Excadrill. Heatran or Excadrill. So, like, I don't think he's staying in here. I basically think he's going to an Excadrill, but I have a Landris anyway. Since he's uh, locked into Secret Sword, I assume. Landris was a good play there. So he goes for knockoff. I'll just go for U turn this one. Goes Arcanine. No, he's lefty. Zygot is back in. Click Southern Arrows. And this game here, I get out my rocks as he predicts me and goes for his own rocks. So I assume he's the Sash, Sash Excadrill. He might want to toxic me here. No, he's not Sash, he just sex it. Wow, that was big. Letting me kill that. So he's gonna click Gold here. Um, I hope Magina lives to. Yeah, he decides to click Pump. Good play, good play. Because Magina would have lived to Skulls. And I click Volt Switch in case he gets inside. In yeah, in case he switches out. Thankfully, he doesn't miss because I already got the burn turn one. So he's hydro pump, he's hydro pump, he's locked into that. I think Tapu Lele um, might die after rocks. But I think it does like 75 to Lele. Um, does 56 to. Okay, it doesn't kill Lele. So I can basically fire off. The thing is, he has a Hooper, so. Focus Blast would be my play if I had Focus Blast, but. So he's going he to our Hooper here is basically what I'm trying to say. So I have to think about a mid-ground play. Um, I just saw an arrows this because it's a threat. He to our Hooper, how do I cover both? I think Zygot is a good play. If he goes guard jump, okay, so he was just second guard jump, which is understandable. Mm. Yeah, I should have just attacked. That was a bad play on my part. Letting this I got tech damage is really bad. Um let me cock real quick if I can kill this. Oh no, psychic to run is up, E speed doesn't work. So yeah, I'll just go back to Lily. Well, that works out in my favor. As yeah, this time I'm just gonna click uh, psychic as he knows. He's left over. Um, no, he doesn't know that I'm Scarf. I could still be not. So I, I don't think he would go Hooper. Yeah, just sacking is his better play. So yeah, I'll just uh, get off and intimidate on this. And I'll just go for Sky Strike to not let him set up more. He can go for his own Sky Strike. I don't know why you said to Earthquake. That was an odd play. He did these on me, so this will get blown away. Bob. So yeah, I don't want to make this life shorter, but this is and um, getting a range from Kelly's hydro pump, which is really bad. Um, I have. I don't want to sack my Kelly. Kelly looks really nice late game. This only this doesn't really get that, put in that much work, so I'll just sack it. At least trick room Hooper. I don't know if this would have fire moves, but I'll try to U-turn here. If this fire move this is really bad and I'll probably lose. Oh, I should've cut E-speed. Now I'm pretty sure Bennett E-speed doesn't kill, but from the way he's taking his time, I don't think... Okay, the other guy just DC'd after Sky's Drag blew his uh, Dragon Knight away. So he doesn't have a fire move, thankfully. I don't think he would be HP eyes on his E-train, honestly.
But yeah, I guess go Zygarde and click... Okay, I wanna click Toxic here. But yeah, I'll just click Thousand Arrows in case he stays in. At least HP has good play on his part. Good, good, good prep, good team. I kinda was like... <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but I kinda thought that it, that it would be an option for him to be that. If we win the other game at least. Um... Hmm. I can either go Lando and SD. Now I'm just gonna go kill you. And yeah, I just have to hit some hydros here. But yeah, his own kill you basically is a big problem too. The reason I'm clicking hydro is so Hooper doesn't take it. But I think I should have just scalded. I mean this yeah, okay we missed. Uh, I don't think it makes a difference. I think I lose this one. He sacks this, then he comes in with his own kill here. Never mind, he doesn't sack this. He just dodges and I lose. Well. I'll try to crit this, I guess. Don't get it, we lose. Well. There's left another rock switch in, so I'll save this. Go for bull punch on this. <coughs> Gets in his tram, which allows me to. <laughs> now I have to take this. I don't have a switch in, like. Can try to dodge a fireblaze and keep this as fodder. Uh, the thing is, if I killed his Landris, I could have swept with spamming hydro bomb, but now I can't. I can't sweep. Uh, I could have swept with secret sword basically. Yeah, I could have swept with secret sword, and now I can't. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if how much, how much it was deciding. I lose now. I have to dodge a fire blast to waste the trick on turn. Nice. Um, <laughs> okay, he hits that one, trick remains. See now now my Kelly could have won. Yeah yeah. I mean that's the game we play. I'm going Landris. I wanna SD but I I cannot afford to SD. Yeah exactly because he has HP eyes. Yeah, it's more on that. Can't do my. I like turn one, two. So. Yeah, by going Kelly, he basically wins. GG, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, I lose this one. But I'm okay with basically with most of how I played in this game. Besides the one part where I doubled out with the Lily when he still had a guard jump sack. Like my win con basically is okay, I could have dodged, so I basically still had a win con. I can still win now if I dodge. How much would Hydro Pump do? Kill you. Versus uh Kelio. Yeah, pump to it kills gold doesn't so I'm going for pump. Oh he switched out so that way he doesn't have to risk yeah he can just click. I can still crit and win the tie but I didn't Yeah, I mean I don't know if I'm getting works on this all but I'm aiming it here guys because this is getting long. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I didn't play optimal. I know I have to work. Like, how I played around that Boswell was really kind of embarrassing, honestly. What else was bad? I think in that Medi Gym game, I also could have played better. But yeah, just wanted to get some content out after I think two or three days of not uploading. 
Um, yeah, how do you guys think about the medical suspect, by the way? Like, now the letter has been out for a few days, and we could make... We could kind of see how the meta would be without Metagross, and honestly, I can understand some people saying that the meta is better with Metagross, because it kind of holds the meta together in a sense, checking stuff like Lele offensively pretty well. But on the other side, Metagross itself is a, is a big problem, I feel. It just breaks through its checks with a Meteor Mesh boost, and... I'm still leaning towards ban because we have months like here in black that they don't really have counterplay like my on this team if they have HP fire scissor is not a counter like it's just one of those months you have to check by outspeeding it and that's the same thing that's, that's just how you will have to deal with Tapu Lele if you don't want to run Celestial or Jirachi on every team you will just have to um, check it offensively I feel Like, Kyurem isn't banned either, and like, it's not... It's not a solution to like, after banning Metagross, then banning Lele, and bam, 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 banning 500 other mons that become better. Um, but yeah, it's obviously not confirmed yet. I know a lot of people are voting... I know a few people that are voting no ban, and I feel like I know more people that are voting no ban even than that are voting ban. But just like, just cause Lele would be better if Metagross is gone, or the meta would be a bit wild, that doesn't change... I don't think that should change your opinion if you think Metagross itself is broken. Because some people think Metagross itself is like... kind of... I don't wanna... I don't know if broken is the correct term. Metagross itself is a big threat, is really good in this metagame. So, you don't lose anything from putting Metagross on your team, basically. You can just put Metagross on your team and you know guaranteed you will get value. 90% of the time, Metagross will do something. It's pretty rare that the opponent just completely counter teams in Mega Metagross, that's like not common, like and even if they have Gastron or Crexa, you can still try to flinch the, like if you have Zen Headbutt. Anyways, um, I don't know if I like got, got my point that well off, but I'm basically saying I'm leaning like 60% towards Ben and I can understand why people are, would want no ban, kind of, but honestly, really more on the ban side. Like we have the we have the Greninja suspect test that that will be upcoming for sure. That's not a question. There's no doubt in my mind. Obviously, Greninja suspect will be coming out. Oh um, yeah, I've heard the Tompas might get tested or quick banned. I think quick banned after this test, but I'm not sure if that's only a rumor. Um. What else? What else? We have new megas coming out every few weeks, so in that sense, the meta is still changing. And if all the megas come out, I think the Yancy might get banned too. That thing will be busted. But like, even if Metagross is necessary for the meta after all the megas are released, maybe we can retest it or something. But I mean, it's not even said that Metagross would be banned yet. Just let me know what you think about this. Kind of interesting to talk about this. Thank you guys for watching, I'm Dogridge, I'm signing out, um, yeah, this team is pretty cool by Avon, I might lift this in the description, I'll uh, have to ask him, but yeah. So that was still good in this meta, he said, um, it's like, basically one of the best defoggers. Like, even with Metagross gone, like, Scissor was one of the main Metagross checks. Scissor still as well, checking Tapu Bulu. Uh, honestly, Walling, Walling Magina that doesn't have HP Fire. Um, if you run enough defense, you can check Bandit Zyga decently well. You can check uh, Choice Lock Tapu Leles, they will have to predict if you have a Scissor on the Greninja on the Toxapex, like they have to predict imme perfectly, pretty much, to get a kill. So it's gonna be hard for them, but... If Dagi was gone, I don't know why Dagi stayed in OU. That suspect test was close. If Dagi was gone, uh, also the... You don't, you wouldn't be forced to run Shed Shell on Lele. I mean, Shed Shell and Specs and Scarf are only like the most common sets I see. I don't see Twisted Spoon much anymore. Twisted Spoon would be really good with Ducky being gone. That's it. That Lele would be so good with a stall. And yeah, also... How the meta will evolve um, with Metagross being gone. Lele is kind of freed up a bit. Lele is a bit better. 
Which you could say it's bad or it's good, but it affects the meta in the sense that I kind of affects the stall players. I think Lele is one of the best mods with a stall. Lele becoming better would mean Lele would be a bit more common, which means the stall players would have some more trouble. Like I don't think stall is that good at the moment with like Mega Mario is really good with a stall too. You just need something that gets up rocks. So you break scum re sturdy and then you get up an SD with Mawal. So they can't kill you with counter. And like Toxapex gets blown away, plus two T-Punch, all that good stuff. Yeah, but I don't know how I even came to talking about this. I wanted to end my video a few minutes ago. Um, yeah, I'm at a Discord server, finally. Most people don't use Skype in this year and they... Like, if I tell them all, like, my friends that like to call on Skype, if some people told them, why don't you move to Discord, they are like, Skype is way, like, people say, Skype is, it's not 2010 anymore, why are you using Skype, that's what people tell us, but yeah, on Discord, because we live way over the world, like, me and Pat are from Germany, and we call with people from America, and on Discord we have had some call issues, but um, we have, I still have to play around with that, changing the servers up. But yeah, what, basically what I'm trying to say is, um, we have a community there, it's not super active at the moment, it's, it's still active, but not super super active, because I just made it. Um, I'm not sure if I will leave the link down below for that, because I don't want to just have everyone join, because like, I kind of want to know the people in there. I mean, I gave the link out to like a few people that, that I don't know much, but I know that I subscribed to me. But yeah, like if you are like pretty active in the comments and I know you a bit, I'm, you can just hit me up. I will give you the link for sure. Like, I'll put my link, my Discord in the description. Like my Discord is um, like this hashtag thing um five eight thirteen Darkridge, and yeah, my Skype is Darkridge. So like we have, we made this uh, group on Skype and on Discord because we couldn't decide. A few members didn't want to move over to Discord. So we just made a group on both. Like we have basically have our community there. I made like um we made like a team building chat, we made a team dump chat. Then we have a soccer talk, etc. Or sports or however you wanna call it. Okay, so I don't know why I'm still talking. I wish you guys a fantastic day. Yeah, we're basically trying to form a little community there, but Someone said, my guy Super Tiger said there were some randoms in there. Um, I don't know why he said that because I know most of the people. But basically, what I'm trying to say is I said it earlier. Don't want to just have someone super random in there. I kind of want to know the person. So if you are active in the comments, then you can hit me up for sure. Or also, even if you are not active in the comments, like if you. If you know how to behave, it's fine. You can I can probably add you. Like, there's just so many any wild people in there. And yeah, I said everything that I wanted to say. There's basically some nice uh, dog rich talk at the end in there. Yeah, it feel, feels good to record all in the morning. So like, I basically have content for you guys. That I can upload later and I can lay back and don't have to make a video. I mean, it's fun to record, but sometimes I don't really. I have some other stuff to do, even though I. I know I uploaded like crazy last week or like three days ago. And I'll try to do next weekend. Um, when OEPL happens, I'll try to be around and get most of the games for you guys again. Um, anyone else? Anything else? Anything else I forgot? That's it. That's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'm out, good god. I think I said that for the sort of fourth time and then I just didn't end my video ever. So anyways, I'm out. Peace.